everybody, welcome into another week of the NECC. Fisher Soap Chan kicking things off on the main channel. Week 8 Soap Chan, it's almost over. I cannot believe it. Challengers Atlantic Showdown, Assumption University, JWU Blue. And these are two teams that are almost mirrors of each other, Soap Chan. Assumption's 5-2, and two. JWU is 5-1. and one. And if you look at their results, they almost mirror each other. It's kind of weird. <laughs> it really is. It just shows that tonight we're going to have some great action on some of those rifts. It's going to be super competitive, especially being the last week before playoffs. This is going to be where everything heats up. Goodness, how about it? The last week before playoffs. Somebody's got to make a move. Let's take a look at our rosters. Let's start with Assumption University coming in at 5 and 2. They need a big win tonight. The jump ahead of JWU that goes on in the top lane. 1C3P in the jungle. Surge and Diddle in the mid lane. Gabe Force in the bot. And AU Nuck in that support role as well. Should be a lot of fun. And interestingly enough, I do believe so. There's a pair of brothers on this team. Don't know if we've ever seen a brother together matchup in our cast. So that'd be kind of fun with oh. the top lane and the bot lane. I would have thought like maybe double bot lane, right? Or like mid jungle. One of them in the top lane and one of them in the AD carry. They're never going to interact with each other. The brother synergy is not going to matter. Oh, no. You're just going to have to isolate the top laner. Mm. That's, that's not a good recipe. But at the same time, we have on the screen next to the JWU blue roster for us. They're going to be on the red side for the first match. Hover981, HS Cozy. It's rewind time. Lalo Day and Dagger. It's rewind time kind of makes me feel they might be an Echo player. Echo, maybe a Zillion as well, potentially. I think Echo would be absolutely phenomenal. I, I'm always curious. So, you know, I feel like we've seen some people who have the name that kind of alludes to what their champion they're going to play, but maybe, you know, that's going to be a clue for Assumption University to ban him out. We'll have to see. But again, this is 5-1 and one for JWU, trying to really secure what would probably be a second-place spot potentially in the standings in Challengers Atlantic if they could pull out the win. So chance has the final week before the playoffs is where everything matters. Both these teams probably squarely in that playoff, but if you can get the two seed, maybe even the one seed, depending on what's happening in that Challengers Atlantic Division and other games, that can be so, so, so crucial. Looks like we're almost done with the draft and almost ready to hop into game one of the night here. So Jen, should be a ton of fun, as you said. Two teams, top of their division, should be Maybe our first three-game series of the year, I think. I don't know if I, we've had one, but I know we've seen a lot of 2 0s So maybe we're in for a treat here tonight. We'll have to see once we take a look at that draft. But if there's anything you're looking for, so Chan, as you said, last week of playoffs, anything to expect, or you just think we're going to see high-level League of Legends because these teams have had so many weeks to perfect their draft? I think I have to say that I am very optimistic about that Echo playing in the mid lane for JWU. I think that might be confirmed soon enough maybe i'm cheating because we can see the draft <laughs> but maybe not but i did think about echo just because of the name so i am gonna put that on the table <laughs> but i i think that overall there are a couple of champions that we definitely saw much play from in the season so far we had a lot of zaya in the bot lane we had a lot of bands for the jinx and varus as well has been pre very present with ashes sometimes sometimes the ash support we've seen we've casted an ash adc with a varus support as well so many combinations that, can, that you can bring to the table but alongside that a lot of aggressive junglers like the Vi really love to see her coming through sometimes even the Caitlyn in the bot lane as well so a lot of thoughts are able to come around I think you bring up a great point with those 80 carries I think Zaya has, has basically been I feels like pick ban I know there's been a couple of games where we just kind of stare in disbelief as the teams just leave Zaya on the table but I'm curious who the other AD carry is going to be if that Zaya does come through for one of our teams. It feels like we just haven't seen a good counter. I know we've seen like a Vayne pop-off game here and there. We've maybe seen a Kaisa game, but it really does feel like whoever gets Zaya is just absolutely bodied on the bottom side of the map. So the answer for whichever team doesn't get Zaya, unless she gets banned out, I'm going to be very curious to see what they have in store. Because, I mean, at this point, you got to find something. As you said, maybe it's a Jinx, but she seems to be banned out. Maybe you go something safe with an Ezreal. I'm really excited. As long as there's no Yumi, as you know, Sofshan, I'm not a cat person. As long as we are Yumi free on the rift tonight, I'm good to go. So I'm hoping we, she does not sneak through. I know she's been getting a lot of rework and stuff, but hopefully she doesn't make it through as it does seem like uh, 
I, I'll be so sad. I think I made it the whole season. I don't think we've seen Yumi once. If she comes no, in today, I'll be so sad. Yeah, we haven't casted any of Yumi in the season so far. But I think that one thing that you have mentioned all throughout the season as well, Paige, has been that not only is Zaya amazing, but if you get the, the chance to pair her up with the Rakan, it's just a powerhouse. You have to, to be aware of if your enemies are going to potentially pick the Zaya, if you are going to have that potential in the bot lane, you have to deny the recon or vice versa. Well, we have the draft on the screen. The first bands have already come out and we have GWU Blue on the blue side with the Jinx, the Malzaha and the Anivia, whereas the Sampion has decided to go for the Ferris, the Swain and look, it's, it's Father Nature. <laughs> We have not seen him pick that. Oh, that has to be a targeted ban. I, I have not remember the last time I've seen him. As the picks start coming in, we've got the set and the buy that you talked about for Assumption. There's that echo, but it's actually not on rewind time. It's actually on the jungle coming out for JWU Blue. So interesting enough, that echo will be there. A, a choke app in the... A choke app? What is, what is that pick? What is the choke app mid lane? Wait, what? What, what, Wait, what? What? Wait, it's not, it's not an echo mid lane? What, what, what? No, it's you Joke just... FM! Wait, hold on. What? Wait, what? The person... Wait, no. <laughs> JWU Blue has a player called It's Rewind Time. Yep. They have picked Echo, yep. and they are not playing Echo in the mid lane. I... I... Uh, a what? Uh, at, the, at this moment, JWU has so much AP damage, it's not even funny. Yeah, I'm curious to see what Ho Ho's gonna do in that top lane. I assume that'll be more of like a tank Malphite, but maybe you go AP Malphite and tank Cho'Gath. I'm with you though, that's a lot of AP and already very confusing as you said. Rewind time should be on the Echo, but we'll have to see. The Annie coming out for Sergeant Diddle in the mid lane is also interesting. I know we've seen a little bit of Annie, but there is that Zaya that we have talked so much about. It was the first pick for Assumption, the R1. No, no. I know what you picked, and oh I know it's not God. there. You can't. Oh don't do this so to me. Funny. Don't that do is this so to me. Funny. Thank you. That is Thank you. Amazing. Oh. Sometimes Fisher just really feels like all the players are listening to us because that is hilarious. Tristana is going to be the counter for the Zaya in this case. I really like it, I have to say. I haven't seen Tristana that much, but I think she's super mobile. She can exploit people. She has a, an incredible scaling capability. So I think that works really nicely. Have a throw. Oh, hey, hey, I'm watching you. you. I'm watching you. No, They're I'm watching, watching us. They're don't, watching us. <laughs> don't do this. Do oh, not do this to me. Oh, that is hilarious. Also, we we might be having some issues with yeah the sun. So I get the update now. There we go. It's gonna be a Zyra. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It's a Zai Zai Zaya Zyra. The <laughs> bot lane. The. This, I mean, this kind of talks into a point that you made, um, where it, it always, no recon when he was available, we'll have to see, though, it does seem like we're going to take a quick break before we hop into game number one. We'll be back, though, game one here in our Challengers Atlantic, JWU Blue, and Assumption University coming up right after this quick break. 